Good day, everyone. I hope and believe that you are doing fine today at home. Today, we are going to talk about getting to move with God or positioning yourself to become what you are born to be in God, more especially in accordance with your calling. I'm not alone here. I'm with Mr. Matewula. I'd like Mr. Matewula to introduce himself fully today. Mr. Matewula, welcome you to God with the Glory Talk Show. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, as you already indicated, my name is Fulman uh, Robin Matewula. I am a co-pastor for Great Desire Christian Life Ministry. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, as I've already said, today we are going to unpack the understanding of moving or becoming what God wanted us to be in the mighty name of our Lord, just Christ of Nazareth. Mr. Matebula, as we are looking at the Christian dog sheep or looking at the children of God, there are different stages whereby we move with God. Some stages, can I call it a dormant one, whereby you are just saving God but ignorantly so. But there's a time whereby you get to realize or to understand who you are in God. What can you say about that? Thank you. Um, basically, uh, to work with God is um, one of our difficult experience based on understanding. Mm -hmm. not on application, mm -hmm. um, understanding as, uh, as a result of um, us as a people who are with God, knowing what is it that we need to do and what is it that we don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we come to God with the wrong attitude and it will take God to align us to the right pattern where he will want us to save him. And um, uh, during that process, it might seem dormant because there is nothing tangible that is happening. But in essence, there is actually a very uh, critical part of your uh, spiritual work with him because he will be showing you or guiding you all the ways on how you're supposed to position yourself, on what you're supposed to do, and even the things that you were not doing it perfectly or correctly, he will be guiding you. So as a matter of fact, God himself is not taking time to chisel you or maybe to align you, but it's your attitude which is uh, delaying him to take you through the process. So, But as long as your attitude will be fine with him, you'll be uh, so shocked and amazed how fast, go, how, how fast you can be able to grow in his presence and, 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 and how strong you can be able to develop in faith. So it is all about an attitude. Hence, whenever you come to the children of Israel, the only thing that he went to, it was only the attitude. So unfortunately, when we go to God, we go to him with a different kind of ideas. Like myself, the moment I started to take uh, God serious, it was the issue of the ministry. I always think of a ministry. I always think of my calling and all this kind of stuff. But to be incensed, when you have to be with God, God, in, in, in most cases, he will want you to move away from even the things. There's nothing that seems to be the motivating factor here for you to work with him. You have to take even the ministry out of you. You have to take even the people out of you. You have to take even your family out of you. You have to take even yourself, even your personal drive to work with him. Whatever you want to achieve, if it's all about the business, you just have to surrender everything and say, God, I'm coming to you not because you want to use me. As a matter of fact, I'm fasting not, not because I want to preach in a church or not because I want to see signs and wonders, but because I want to feel your presence. You see, the moment your heart is positioned in that way, then that is actually a key to unlock the, 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 the move, I mean, to unlock the secret uh, spiritual dimension to move with God. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so if I get you right, you say something that it's more of, understanding yeah. so can you say that a lot of people they don't really understand what god expects from them the moment they become christians yes um you see i was going through the book of uh, exodus not so long mm -hmm. um back into the scripture i think it's exodus chapter 29 verse, can, can, can i read it yes you can yeah exodus chapter 29 from verse 45 to 46 I like what God says to the children of Israel, and that it, 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 it opens my eyes okay. to realize something here um, based on what the children of Israel, what God actually was 
concentrating on based on what the children of Israel were supposed to be doing. And God was saying to them, um, to all the things that I knew had been a challenge here, and then uh, you've been experiencing and you wanted me to do for you, I'm not against, I'm not against you prospering. Mm -hmm. And I'm not against you, you know, having money or building a name for yourself and everything like that. But I, as God, there's one thing that I'm after. I'm after one thing. So says the Lord. Um, mm -hmm. Let me quickly make sure you get the scripture. Okay. My, 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 um, uh, connection is actually running away from me, but uh, let me quickly get it. Uh, it's from verse 45. It says, I will, you see, you see this came after God. You have set all the patterns with them in terms of building the tabernacle, you know, and, 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 and then trying to dwell with them. You wanted to, it, it, it took them through all this pattern. If you ever can read it from verse, I mean, chapter 25, coming to 32. You can tell that God was actually trying to establish how he's supposed to move with them. That is the pattern that he was establishing through the tabernacle. But I like what actually is concluding um, uh, with the uh, on this actually last verses. He said, I will dwell among the children of Israel. I will dwell among the children of Israel and I will be their God. You see, the, um, God is actually looking for one thing. He's only looking for the people that he will remain their God. That's all. Mm. Apart from, you see, it, these are the people that were working with God in the wilderness and they were still in the wilderness. They are not in the promised land yet. They've never seen actually this actually prosperity that is driving most of us to go to God in most cases and to, 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 to go for salvation in most cases. But these are the people who are still poor. They don't have any armor, no agriculture, no nothing. But God yet is telling them why is he actually choosing them? He's not choosing them because they are big in armament. He's not choosing them because they are intelligent. They went to school. They've got all these kind of a people who are sophisticated, highly technological kind of an equipment and everything that you may think of. But he's going to them because you want to be their God. So God wants people to be their own God. So in most cases, when we go to him, we go to him with our own standards. And unless we uh, reject our standard and we say, God, I'm not going to you because you said you want to you wanna use me. You say, I've come to the point in my life where I've said, God, whether you'll, you'll raise me or not, but I just want to be with you. I can even take fasting sometimes, not even making a single um, prayer item. A fasting without even a single prayer item. And I just say, God, I just want to feel you. Mm -hmm. Even early in the morning, I can spend hours praying, even today. Woke up around three o'clock, spending hours and pray to him and say, God, the only thing that I just want to feel now, it is not because I want to uh, be powerful when I appear upon the man, I mean, amongst the men, when I stand on the pulpit, people can feel your presence. That is not my drive. But my drive is that, God, I just want to feel you. You see, the moment you do that, it means you're draining yourself. And when you drain yourself, then you allow God to only uh, relate with you at the center. What frustrates most of us is that sometimes we do things of God aiming higher. Some of us, we use God to promote ourselves. For an example, you, you, you are fasting because you want God to use you so mighty. You want to be a strong man. You want to be a mighty man. And what will happen then if God doesn't move? Because sometimes God can, 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 can um, discipline our heart. You fast for 10 days, 12 days, or 21 days. And after that, then you, 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 you expect God to be moved. And God doesn't move. What happened to most people? You know what happened to most people? They get disappointed. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they they, 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 they they put their effort and they leave God behind. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that is the most that is the problem that most people are doing. We leave God behind and we, we, we impress him by doing things. God is not a ritualistic kind of a God. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. God is really and and, 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 and you have he need you to be his friend. He need you to, to come in with just like I and you now we are talking. Mm -hmm. He's in our miss. If you can't feel him now, you can't drive him through fasting. No, no, so it's sure. based on understanding. Now, let me just finish this. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. You see, God is repeating this for the second time. To dwell among them. That is only drive of God. He just wants to actually be with us. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a key for each and every believer. Whether you're a pastor, you're not a pastor, but this is a key for each and every believer. To attract the presence of God and to set the the tone on how you can able to walk with God. Wow, yes. well, that's so beautiful. 
I believe that you are learning something very home. So I want to get the clarity. What you are saying is that what God is after or what God is so much wishing for his children to understand is for them to build a relationship. Yes. Not just seeking after what he can do for them. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's, that, that is the fundamental uh, 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 principle okay. for God to go there. You see, uh, Exodus chapter 19, um, 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 remember when, you, when, when, when God chose the, the children of Israel. These people were under bondage, under slavery. But what I like there is that even if they were under slavery, but there were actually some economic activities that were taking place in there. Mm. We, 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 we can't hear anything about the starvation and only thing. But the only thing that we can hear is that these people were deprived of the opportunity to go and, 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 and sacrifice mm -hmm. unto God. Mm. The word sacrifice simply means to leave everything mm. and actually dedicate time for God. So uh, whenever God asked Moses and Aaron to go and talk to um, a Pharaoh, he would always say to them, let Pharaoh release my people so that he can mm -hmm. go and sacrifice for me in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. You see, God never attached anything unto them. Mm -hmm. He only, he only brings his people and himself. Mm -hmm. So it is all about the relationship. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so, 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 so uh, whether you are, you are sick, or whether you are not sick, whether you are poor, whether you are not poor, the drive to God is not all about the wealth and everything that many people are cultivating out there. Mm -hmm. well, sometimes you might be having God and, 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 and sick and God chooses not to heal you. It doesn't mean that God doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that God is not with you. God might is, 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 is there unconditionally. Mm -hmm. So that is the kind of a God and the nature of God that we actually we are going for, or I mean we are worshipping. Wow. And as such, um, um, misunderstanding unto us it delay the move of God. Mm. Let me put this statement, and then um, I have to put this this statement the respective, um, respective for, uh, based on how other people are doing things. Mm. Is that men cannot able to pray? It's God who's enabling us to pray. No, Let true. me repeat my statement. Mm. Men cannot able to pray. That is why if you can pray with an attitude that you can pray, yeah. you'll see that. You can't able to keep the pattern, mm -hmm. but if you humble yourself unto mm -hmm. God and say, "God, I cannot able to do this. Help me." You see, it's, I, 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 I even look at myself sometimes. Um, it's amazing that I can go to sleep, even not even having a problem. That tomorrow in the morning I want to pray, mm -hmm. but I'll be so surprised. Eight hours of the morning, there will be this spirit that will will take me out of the bed. That I will feel energized. I will feel. You know, having the spirit of worship. Sometimes I'll just say, I just want to pray for 30 minutes because, you know, I'm tired and I feel so heavy. But it's so amazing that that 30 minutes will move into one hour, from one hour to two hours. I can even pray up until I feel that, oh, I've, now it's already, mm -hmm. it's already, I've just spent too much time in prayer. And I always ask God, how, why is it like this, God? And God will say, it's because your heart doesn't say you can. Mm -hmm. Your heart says, let me enable you. So that's why I fill you with that strength and you can able to do more. But when I go with that attitude to say, God, I can, I'm telling you the honest truth, mm, nobody can able to save God unless God can able to help. Oh, that's true. Mm. So can you say that um, what will make Christians to become what they are born to be, more especially uh, in accordance to their calling, yeah. is to allow God to guide them, which is to move with God, not to be active for God? Um, it's not necessary not to be active. You see, we need to be active, but however, we need to rely on Him. Is so it a, let, let me give the clarity. Okay. The activeness in, in, a, in a way that people, they're just doing things or service for God, but not hearing from God or using or hearing what, okay, using the calendar of God, just doing things like, okay, today I'm going to preach, I'm going to pray. I mean, planning their own things and seem like they are active for God. But moving with God in a sense of saying that when God say, do this, I'll do. In other words, doing God's way and doing things our way, but doing it for God. I understand. It's, 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 we, we can just actually cover that uh, by, 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 by using the word obedience mm -hmm. to work with God the key is obedience mm -hmm. remember we he called us mm. he, we never called him That's true. sometimes we have our own programs and do all this kind of stuff you see you you, you go through the book of John John chapter 2 uh, from verse 1 to 11 I don't want to read it for the sake of the time 
uh, but it talks about the the, 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 the wedding at Cana. There's something extraordinary which is happening in there, too deep in spirit, spiritual in understanding. The Bible said that they ran out of wine. Uh, there were a lot of people who were invited there and they were sitting in the upper rooms. And those people were uh, kings, were chiefs, were indunas, people of the names were mm -hmm. sitting in the upper rooms. But unfortunately, something happened with them. Um, 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 everybody now is using his own position. We are going there. And we see this kind of an attitude in most cases in our walk with God. These days, we use our own, uh, 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 um, uh, we, we, are, we are old names. You are, you know, yeah. I'm Doctor So and So. I, I, and I don't, I don't mean to demean people or to actually uh, sound dis disrespectful to people out there. Mm -hmm. It's good for people to uh, learn up until they get to that level, uh, respectful speaking. So you find that we, we, I'm Bishop So and So, I'm Pastor So and So. You see, people are connecting even out there through the circle of who they are, mm -hmm. and 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 in most cases, we they leave God behind where God is supposed to be. I can bet with I can bet to you there are many churches and there are many people who are actually going up and down and do the conferences and and connect and do all this kind of stuff, but only find that God is not in their midst. Mm. Look at what it happened at Khan. What it happened at Khan is that. Jesus Christ was not in the upper rooms. Mm. Jesus Christ was there where everybody was. And then the, the Bible says that the wine actually um, um, Finish. uh, get finished. Mm. And, and, and what happened? Everybody was there. Mm. You see, a wine is a representation of this, the, the Holy Spirit, of mm. the anointing. So it was there without an anointing. Mm. So this is what is happening these days. We, we, we tend to connect not actually allowing the anointing of God to be there. And we miss the anointing. Mm -hmm. We use names to find people who are uh, invited in a church. There are some churches, they can't invite someone that has never actually had a name, no matter how anointed mm -hmm. that person is. Mm -hmm. As long as you are not known in the circle, they don't care about your, the level mm -hmm. of anointing. And that's a kind of a life, unfortunately, that we are living these days. And we, we, we leave the anointing of God behind because of disobedience mm -hmm. and the level of understanding that actually we are having. So in that way, in, in that in that passage of, of, of passage of scripture, it says, um, 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 the, 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 the people they went to Jesus, and they 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 they. they, they, they they, they went to the mother of Jesus and said that they, there is no wine. Mm -hmm. And the mother of Jesus is the one who went to Jesus and said that there is no wine. Mm -hmm. But the statement that Jesus said is that he said, I mean, he, 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 he turned the, the water into a wine. Mm -hmm. I like the statement that mother of Jesus said. The mother of Jesus said that do everything that he does. Mm -hmm. It is telling you. You see, this is an element of obedience. It means if now somebody has to tell you, from the level where you are not there to do something that someone that you left behind is supposed is still saying to you and you were not doing that. It means that there was no level of obedience. Mm -hmm. So now we have to tell someone, do as he's telling you. It means the man of Jesus knew that these people, as much as they are up higher there, they could not actually lower themselves into mm -hmm. doing that. Mm -hmm. So that is what is happening to most of us. That some people they can't preach even in the in the church with less than 40 people mm -hmm. because they feel they've got too much anointing mm -hmm. and all this stuff. But the key to work with God is that God, I surrender myself. Whatever you say that I must I must say, I will say. Whatever you say that I must do, I must do. I'm not bigger than you, oh Lord. I can mm -hmm. still do even the little thing that you want me to do. Mm -hmm. I will never be greater than your anointing. If God will ask me to go to even uh, a place where there's no money and do everything that you want to do, you can still go there. Even if there's no media to take pictures for you, to make all these kind of things. Even if you don't have this large mm. number, this large followings and all this stuff. But as long as the anointing of God is there in you, I'm telling you the honest fact, mm. you'll have set actually the pattern to work with God. Wow. On that note of obedience, what other factors can you say that they are so contributing to uh, fail the people of God basically to reach a stage where remember when Jesus goes to heaven or ascend to heaven he said that greater works you are going to do more than that I used to do 
But until this far, we're not seeing those things manifesting. Somehow, which means that we are not doing right or doing it the way Jesus wanted us to do. That's why we are not yet reaching even the stage where he used to do things here. So what other traits or elements you can say that contribute to us as the children of God failing to become so great like Jesus? Uh, the number of factors, but the one that um, I, 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 I personally experience is um, a personal pride. Mm -hmm. Pride can be a blockage to work with God. Sometimes you, 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 it doesn't take a genius to know what is a pride. Mm -hmm. You need to be honest to yourself. Uh, there were times where I could work with God for the sake of the ministry. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is this is something that I need to clarify to people, but I believe people are understanding what I mean by that. I used to work with God for the sake of the ministry because I'm a pastor, I'm, a, I'm having the church and all this stuff. Then I have to do this. You see, it's dangerous to act because of something that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. You 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 don't have to do that. You just have to actually do for the sake of the one we have sent you to do mm -hmm. that. So a pride will always want us to use God. Mm -hmm. To achieve what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. you see, going to prayer. You see, if ever in your prayer is is all about saying, "God, I want to have a bigger mm -hmm. church." You see, I used to have those kind of things. I used to be affected. I mean, affected even myself sometimes when I go to church. And, where I'm only having two or three people and all this stuff. I used to be affected. And look at some other person where I'm in the bigger churches and all this stuff. Up until God opened my eyes and say, "Unless you honor me." not what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. then you'll never work with me. Mm -hmm. So laziness is another uh, 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 problem. Mm -hmm. Laziness comes with procrastination. Mm -hmm. um, you know that there's something that you need to do. There are a lot of people who are actually trapped out there, as I'm speaking right now, mm -hmm. we're trapped out there with the with with a, with a prophecy of God. Yeah. Some people have been prophesied some years back, and they're still waiting for God to move, mm -hmm. but God is still waiting for them to move. You see, yeah. I remember... I remember God telling me these things clearly and he says, son, unless you put, you set a standard by yourself, there will be no movement between me and you. Mm. And I didn't understand what God was saying to me. I didn't understand that God wants me to, you know, show a hunger to him. Mm. And when I show a hunger to him, then that's where he will take me through and help me. Sometimes you'll be at the lower level where even fasting for a day is difficult for you. Don't put yourself under pressure. God is merciful. Don't even listen to these people who actually come to you and boastful and say, hey, I mean, I'm from 21 days past day. Mm -hmm. You might find that they did that, but God is not there because the pride is in their mm -hmm. heart. Because if you can go around and boost yourself and all this stuff, it shows that you're still actually pump, pump up. You are mm -hmm. full of yourself mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. in essence, what I'm trying to say is that um, you just have to lean on him. Even if you are not able, one day you are not able to do that. He can guide you, start by six hours. You start that and do, if you do that sincerely and diligently, I'm telling you the honest fact, God is going to reach out unto you and will make it a point that actually help you. So that's the kind of a God. Is. So there are a lot of, there are not quite a number mm -hmm. of factors that I can point out to and all this stuff. Uh, like uh, competition, yeah. you see, like a jealousy. Mm -hmm. The, um, the men of God who are we are doing things because of a jealousy. Yeah, no, yes, yes. And then you find that even in your church, you are having people who are no longer even submitting. Yeah. You can see even by the kind of an mm -hmm. attitude mm -hmm. which is there, that this attitude now is there to compete mm -hmm. and it's no longer there to complement. Mm -hmm. You see, they, they oppose everything like that and as such, it becomes actually a problem because mm -hmm. that it actually saves as a, as, a, as, as a downfall for each and every person. Wow. But if ever then you, you humble yourself, you see, my, my, my work with God is simple. I'm saying to God, God, if I don't know anything, if you never call me to do anything, mm -hmm. Lord, you give it to other people. Mm -hmm. If you want me to be your servant and only cleaning the, 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 the floor, let me be the, uh, the person who's only cleaning the, the floor. As long as all my blessings will come from there, then I'm fine with that. And I, I allow that to do that. Just like my wife, she, 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 she started the ministry and all this stuff. I'll never even you know, praise myself and see, and make people who are around in our circle to now think that actually I have arrived. Even if some people can come to me, you know, in a secret door, and they say, yeah, you have seen the anointing now as well. You see, I always maintain that the anointing it falls through the anointing that God has given to you. If I can't honor her, there's no how God can honor me. No matter how powerful I might sound like, no matter how anointed I might sound like, but I must always honor her. 
and it will be actually a, a, a stupidity if if the very same thing that is happening to 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 to, to if what I'm doing is not actually happening to her because if you want God to help you, you need actually to allow God. You need to actually uh, allow God to 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 humble your heart. And, and appreciate what other people are doing. Even if some people are, don't have that uh, bigger, you know, vocab on how to, you know, present their anointing dimension and whatsoever. But as long as they're having God, you just say, God, we thank you for these people. That is what you need to do. Okay, thank you. I believe that you are enjoying that as you are learning. Uh, so, what you are saying, if I hear you clearly, is that um, it's not all about us, but it's all about God. And then we have to always make sure to do it God's way in order for us to be successful and pro prosperous at the end of the day. Yes, it is all about God. It's not all about us. Thank you. Sometimes I, 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 I look at the lives of uh, the apostles, even some uh, great men of God who saved God holy directly. I feel they never chose their lives. You mm. look at John the Baptist. Mm. The Bible said that he was always in the wilderness. Imagine God raised you to be in the wilderness. Yeah. Mm. I, so I cry sometimes. I weep and say, oh God, what kind of a heart these mm. people were having. Mm. These people just dedicated their lives. Mm. You see, they never have the, the, the things that we are having, yeah. the houses, the cars, and all this stuff. That actually we always pride ourselves to mm. say we are having God. Mm. They never had anything. Wow. Nobody knows the house of John the Baptist. Mm. Nobody knows the kind of a, of, of, of a cloth of John the mm. Baptist. Nobody knows the car that he used to drive. Mm. It, I, nobody knows his bank account. Nobody knows everything that he might have accomplished. But mm. even today, they're still talking about him. Wow. And what is the reason? It's because he dedicated his life unto God mm. and said, God, use me in the way that you want to use me. And this is the kind of a heart we just want to give into him. I said, God, use us in a way that not, not, not give God all this kind of a stuff. God, give me that. Give mm. me this. Hey, if you can't give me a house, I'm not going to give you. Bribe God by, you know, marriage and all this. If you can't give me marriage, mm. it means you are no longer God. You know, it, 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 the moment you talk like that, it shows mm. that you are not with God. God. But your heart will always say, God, whether I get married or mm. not, I'm going to follow you, Amen. God. Whether I get a job or not, mm. I'm going to follow you, God. Whether my business is... Is, is, is rising or not if ever that is not what you have called me God mm. I'm going to follow you, you're still gone whether things are fine or not mm. I'm not here because I want businesses I'm not here because I want uh, to be blessed and drive all these fancy cars mm. you know all this stuff no, we are not following God for that and then it's unfortunate that you'll have pastors who will make people feel as if they are not having God because they don't have things That's and true. even some ministry uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, formulated or paint a patient after the material mm. thing. It's a pity we have actually lowered God into nothing. Mm. But to me, God is God. Whether I'm eating food today, I'm, I'm having enough food today, or I'm not having enough food, or mm. whether I, anything like that, whether my, I and my wife doesn't have kids, is not blessing us with kids, it doesn't matter. To me, it doesn't matter. Mm. As long as I know that God, you are feeling my heart, and I'm satisfied. And that is the key to what we to God be the glory indeed. Mr. Matevula, your last word. I've heard you talk much about uh, attitude. What is it that we can advise our viewers there about the importance of attitude and the right attitude as we are ending our show? Um, I've been alluding to most of the things I think throughout the show. Um, what I can indicate is that attitude is a key in a sense that, um, first of all, when you go to God, don't go to God with the conditions. Mm. We are, we are, we are. God is not actually. It's, it, it's not like God is disparate for people that we just have to uh, go to Him and say, "Oh God, oh, what, what, what?" And all this kind, of, kind of stuff. If you can give me this and all this kind of, you know, God, you know, because you want to use me, you know, God, because I'm a pastor, you know, God, you need to know. No, it's not all about that. It's all about to say, God, let me be your friend. Let me be your friend, and let me be your servant. God, let me be mm. your son. You see, when we read the scripture that I alluded, God said that I want the children of Israel to be my people mm. so that I can able to do what? To dwell among them. Mm. The question is, before you can be a pastor, who are you? Mm. And what are you in God? Before you can be a bishop, what are you in God? Before you can be a worshiper, what are you in God? Before you can be an usher, what are you in God? Before you can be a prophet or a prophetess, what are you in God? 
before you can be a husband, you can be anything that we always go to God with. Mm. What are you in God? Before you can be anything, what are you in God? Mm. You are the person or the people of God before you can be anything else. Mm. So that attitude, it can save it as a bedrock. That attitude, it can save as a key. That attitude, it can save as a proponent. For you, you can able to go to another level. Mm. And that attitude is the one can able to make God feel you. No wonder the Bible says that uh, you don't have to put a new wine in an old skin. Mm. Why? Because a new anointing of God is always there. It's always flourishing all the time. It's always actually found all the time. And there will be actually a problem if ever then you find yourself in a situation where you don't allow God to clean you. That's true. I feel I can pray for people, but it's fine. It's not actually, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not the... Uh, uh, a sermon per se, but it's something that is touching my heart because it took me time um, to, 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 to understand who God is. It took me time to capture the atmosphere of God mm -hmm. because I've been doing the wrong things, been going to the mountains and going to fastings and going to just to impress God. But God doesn't want you to impress Him. To walk up in the morning and say, God, I really love you. I thank you, God. And if you have any have to go for fasting, God, let me be. Let it be the first thing of me feeling you. Mm. I want you to feel me. To feel me, oh God. Whether you're giving me food, you're giving me anything. I just want you to give me God. To feel me, God. So that is the only attitude that can able to catapult your life. And I thank you. Uh, as I said, that we're ending. But I've heard Pastor saying that he feels like uh, you can pray for people. So who are we to say no to a prayer? So we give you this uh, minute just to pray for the people out there because I believe there's someone there who's saying that, yeah, it's a long uh, uh, moving in the wilderness and circus trying to find your God or trying to find God, but it was hard. So as you are speaking, I'm so motivated and encouraged. So pastor, you can pray for them as we believe that prayer enables someone through the grace of God. So pray for them they at home as they are uh, partaking or connecting by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. No, thank you for giving me this opportunity as an anchor of the show. I would like to uh, pray for people out there. And I believe there are a lot of people who are frustrated, a lot of people who are looking for God. There are people who started with God. They can't see any movement. There's nothing that is happening. There's nothing that actually is there. They can't even feel him. Mm -hmm. They are frustrated. They feel God is far. Mm -hmm. God is not far, my friend. God is a God of pattern. I wish I can, we can, we can, we can uh, do this in a seminar kind of, but it's fine. And the little thing that we shared on this show, I think it's going to be helpful for you. I want to pray with you just to say, God, empty my heart. You see, there's a key, empty my heart. I've met a lot of people in a Christian world who are full of themselves. Mm -hmm. And what is happening to them is horrible. I've seen people frustrated, but going to church. Mm -hmm. I've seen people depressed, but going to church. I've seen people claiming that they've got the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but being empty because of a pride. Mm -hmm. Pride can kill you. Humble yourself. Let me pray with you. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I come before you, Lord. I'm nothing before you. Mm -hmm. Father, I'm nothing before you. My degree, my qualifications, my accomplishments, everything that I have as a material is nothing to you, Lord. Lord, without you, there is nothing that we can achieve. Father, I'm not coming to you. I'm not fasting, Lord. I'm not worshipping you. I'm not praising you, Lord, because I want to be powerful. That is not what I'm looking for. I don't want signs and, and, and wonders, Lord, but I just want you. Dwell in me. I just want to feel your presence. Walk me during the night. Walk me during the morning. Make me to study your way. Consistently so. Not because I want to debate. Not because I want to show other people that I'm so knowledgeable. I know how to speak Greek. I know how to speak Hebrews. That is nothing to me, Lord. I just want to feel your presence. And let it be the spirit of humbleness that is moving unto the people right now. And as we are humbling ourselves, and we pray for this show to grow, God, to God be the glory. And we say, God, increase this show so that many people can reach your voice through this show. In Jesus' mighty name, I remain and I leave the blessings of God for this show. In Jesus' mighty name. Starting from today, this show will never be the same. In Jesus' mighty name. And your life will never be the same. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Matevula, Pastor Matevula. I thank you, our viewers, the head of home. To God be the glory indeed. Keep on subscribing. Keep on watching us. We love you so much. Stay blessed.
ね。